Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalosi and I'm here with another color grading tutorial and this is one of my most favorite color grading and I use this preset a lot and in the later part of the video, I'll show you how to save it as a preset and use it in future and you will find this preset in my pattern account also. So now let's get started. Okay, first copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then convert it to a smart object. And now open it with camera or filter. And now press Q to see the before and after view. And now I want to increase the contrast a little bit, just a little. I think plus 3 is good enough. And I want to decrease the highlights. I think minus 5 looks good. And bump up the shadows a little bit. I think plus 17 is good. And now increase the black a little bit, just plus 2. That's perfect. And I want to increase the vibrance. So I'm giving, I think around 85 is looking good. And now I want to decrease the saturation. So I'm giving minus 20 for saturation. It looks good. Look at the before and after, it looks fine. Now come into the curves. And here, create a point. I think yeah it looks good it now a little bit more contrast and now click on this point and drag this to the up I think yeah it looks good it creates a matte look it looks perfect and now come into the ASL option and in the hue I think I'm giving plus 43 for red And 14 for aquas. Oh, I love this color, but not too much. I think minus 5 for blues. It looks perfect. Now coming to the saturation. And I want to bump up the saturation of reds. I'm giving plus 100. Look at the leaves, it looks perfect. And now I want to increase the yellow also. I think plus 7 is looking good. And I want to increase the saturation of green also, plus 5. It looks perfect. And I'm giving 14 for blues. And now coming to the luminance. And here I want to increase the luminance of orange just a little, plus 2. It looks perfect. And for the green, sorry, for the green, I think... I think minus 5 looking good and for the aquas I'm giving minus 12 it looks good so that's it and now come into the effects option and I want to create a vignette effect so I'm giving minus 24 for vignetting and here I am giving I think 65 for highlights that's perfect now come into the camera calibration option and now in the red primary I am giving it looks bad so I am giving plus 10 for hue and I think minus 95 for saturation and in the green primary I am giving it looks not bad but I don't want it now I'm giving minus 50 for green primary in case of hue and in the blue primary I'm giving oh look at the color I'm giving minus 100 for hue it looks perfect and plus 9 for saturation that's perfect look at the before and after it looks great little bit of aqua and little bit of brown it looks perfect and now you can save this setting as a preset for future use. For this, just go to this presets option and here you will find a create new preset option. Just click on this and you can give a name and select the group and now just click OK and that's it. So it's easy to save the preset. And now press OK when you are done. 
and now look at this before and after here also look at this this was the before and this is after it looks great okay let's make a gradient in the bottom so for this go to the adjustment layer and here select gradient and select this gradient that's perfect and now click and reposition it i think i think yeah it's fine now press ok look at this before and after let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after it looks great i hope you love this color grading if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe Oh, 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 oh,